Okay class, today we're in section 3.7, graph linear functions. 3.7, graph linear functions. Before, you graph linear equations and functions. Now, you will use function notation. Key vocabulary. Function notation. Family of function. Parent linear function. You have seen linear functions written in the form y equals mx plus b. By naming a function f, you can write it using function notation. Function notation. f of x is equal to mx plus b. f of x is equal to mx plus b. The symbol f of x is another name for y and is read as the value of f at x or simply as f of x. It does not mean f times x. It does not mean f times x. You can use letters other than f such as g or h to name functions. So in other words, it can be read as g of x or h of x. Once again, f of x is equal to mx plus b. Okay, important now. The symbol f of x is another name for y. The symbol f of x is another name for y. In other words, where you see f of x, it really means this. y equals mx plus b. So f of x, called function notation, is used in place of y. And that's part of what you're going to be learning in this lesson, function notation. Example 1, standardized test practice. What is the value of the function f of x is equal to 3x minus 15 when x is and when x is equal to a negative 3. What is the value of the function f of x is equal to 3x minus 15 when x is equal to a negative 3? a negative 24, b negative 6, c negative 2, or d 8. Solution. Write original function. f of x is equal to 3x minus 15. All right. They said that x is equal to a negative 3. That means every place we see a x in our function notation, we're going to put a negative 3. So it becomes f of negative 3 is equal to 3 times negative 3 minus 15. And then we do our basic math. All right. Now, when I say we're going to do our basic math, all that means is we're going to simplify. So we're going to say 3 times 3. That's going to be, excuse me, 3 times a negative 3. That's going to be a negative 9 minus that 15. So 9, negative 9 minus 15 is a negative 24. So the correct answer is A. Example 2, find an x value. For the function f of x is equal to 2x minus 10, find the value of x so that f of x is equal to 6. Write the original function f of x is equal to 2x minus 10. Now they told us f of x is equal to 6. That's like saying y that would be like if they told you y was equal to 6. So in place of f of x you're going to put 6. So now you got 6 minus 2x excuse me 6 is equal to 2x minus 10. Okay, now after substituting in our 6, so we get 6 is equal to 2x minus 10. Now we're going to solve for x. Notice once again, they're not showing you the steps. You should have done enough practice problems to have this down by now. But anyway, recognize that it's a two-step equation, multiplication, subtraction. We wrote it over here for you so we can break it down for you once again. All right, we want to get the x by itself, so we're going to get rid of the minus sign first. So the opposite of a negative 10 is a positive 10. What we do to one side, we do to the other side. All right, now 6 plus 10 is 16. A negative 10, when combined with a positive 10, that goes to 0. And I'll bring down my 2x. So now I got 16 is equal to 2 times x. I want to get the x by itself. Opposite of multiplication is division. Divide both sides by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I'm left with just 1x. And of course, that 1 does not have to be there because all we have there is 1x. So when x is equal to 8, 
f of x is equal to 6. Another way to say it is, when f, is at, when f of x is equal to 6, x is equal to 8. Domain and range. The domain of a function consists of the values of x for which the function is defined. The range consists of the values of f of x, where x is in the domain of f. The graph of a function f is a set of all points x and f of x. And remember that the range is your y values, so f of x is y. f of x is really y, so it's really x and y. We're just using function notation. We're just using function notation. Example 3, graph a function. Gray wolf. The gray wolf population in central Idaho was monitored over several years for a project aimed at boosting the number of wolves. The number of wolves can be modeled by the function f of x is equal to 37x plus 7, where x is the number of years since 1995. Graph the function and identify its domain and range. Solution. To graph the function, make a table. So we're going to use values of 0, 1, and 2. And we're going to use our equation. Don't forget what the equation was. 37 times x plus 7. Here, x was 0. So 37 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 7 is 7. So when x is 0, f of x or y is 7. Here, x is 1. 37 times 1 plus 7 will give you 44. So when x is 1, y or f of x is 44. When x was 2, you ended up with 37 times 2. 37 times 2 plus 7 would give you 81. So when x was 2, f of x or y was 81. Okay, so now you plot these points on the graph. For example, when x is 0, f of x or y is 7. When x is 1, f of x or y is 44. When x is 2, f of x or y is 81. And notice, the number of wolves, that's on your y-axis, and years since 1995, that's on your x-axis. Don't forget, the y-axis is really, in this case, f of x. So, the domain of the function is x is greater than or equal to 0. From the graph or table, you can see that the range of the function is f of x is greater than 7. Now, once again, f of x is greater than 7. That's easy to see because right there, that's your lowest value. So, it has to be there and up. Okay, and for the years, it started at 0. So, it has to be there and up. Families of functions. A family of functions is a group of functions with similar characteristics. For example, functions that have the form f of x is equal to mx plus b constitute the family of linear equations. Don't forget this is also y equals mx plus b. Same thing. That's what they're telling you there also. y equals mx plus b. Key concept. Parent functions for linear functions. The most basic linear function in the family of all linear functions is called parent linear function is f of x is equal to x. The graph of the parent linear function is shown. And once again, f of x is equal to x. Once again, f of x is equal, to, uh, is, is equal to x. Don't forget, that's really y is equal to x. This is the most basic uh, graph of a linear function. And the reason why it's so basic is because it's simple. When x is 1, y is 1. When x is 2, y is 2. When x is 3, y is 3. So look right here. When x is 1, y is 1. When x is 2, y is 2 x is 3, y is 3. When x is a, a negative 1, y is a negative 1. It's the most basic function. So all graphs are going to compare to it, to it uh, from now on. Example 4. Compare graphs with the graph f of x is equal to x. Compare graphs with the graph f of x is equal to x. In other words, compare the graph to the basic uh, graph. Graph the function. Compare the graph with the graphs of f of x is equal to x. A. G of x is equal to x plus 3. G of x is equal to x plus 3. Solution. Alright, now first off, 
in order to be, to be successful in this particular exercise, you have to know how to graph and graph quickly. All right, and then realize that g of x is the same as saying f of x or is, is the same as saying y. So you're really saying y is equal to x plus 3 here, or f of x is equal to x plus 3. Now you are going to compare this graph to the basic family graph. f of x is equal to x, or you can say simply y is equal to x. So to be able to graph quickly, you should be able to go right here. I got x plus 3, so my y-intercept is 3. That's right there. And my slope is 1, so that's really saying 1 over 1. So rise over run, so down 1 over 1. Down one over one, down one over one, down one over one, down. That's how fast you should be able to make that graph. And then the y is equal to x graph, that's the quickest. You start, there's no y intercept, so you go right there at zero. And notice that your slope is also one. Your slope is one. So here I'm going to go up, up one over one, up one over one, up one over one. And for those of us who may be confused if I'm saying that it's one, don't forget this is down a negative one over a negative one. Now what's a negative one divided by a negative one? That is a positive one. Down one, that's negative one. Over one, that's a negative one. A negative one divided by a negative one is a positive one. Just like if I went the other way, see, if I go up one over one, that's one positive, one positive. One divided by one is one. So it doesn't matter if I go down or if I'm going up, I still end up with a slope of a positive one. All right, now let's analyze what we got. Now that we know that we got to be able to graph rapidly, let's compare the two graphs. Because the graphs of G and F have the same slope, that is the slope is one, the lines are parallel because we all, we all know by now that if two lines have the same slope, they're parallel. Also, the y-intercept of the graph of G is three more than the y-intercept of the graph of F. That's why it's three units higher. One, two, three. G, its y-intercept is three. The basic graph, its y-intercept is simply zero. All right, now, don't forget we're going to take h of x is equal to 2x and compare that to y is equal to x or f of x is equal to x. These two are the same. All right, so we've got to be able to graph quickly. Let's look at the 2x one. That's the red one right? There's no y-intercept, so we start at 0. Our slope is 2, so it really means 2 over 1. So we rise up 2, 1, 2 over 1. Rise up 2, 1, 2 over 1. Going back in the other direction, we will go down 1, 2 over 1. That's our graph right there. And then the blue line, our y is equal to x, or the f of x is equal to x, that should be really quick. When x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 1. When x is 2, y is 2. When x is 3, y is 3. And of course, same thing going back in the negative direction. Okay, now let's analyze what we have there. Because the slope of the graph of h is greater than the slope of the graph of f, the graph of h rises faster from left to right. Notice, this graph right here sits on top of this one. Red is on top of blue. Alright, the y-intercept for both graphs is zero. So both lines pass through the origin. Example five, graph real world functions. Cable, a cable company charges new customers $40 for installation and $60 per month for its service. The cost to the customer is given by the function f of x is equal to 60x plus 40, where x is the number of months of service. To attract new customers, the cable reduces the installation fee to $5. A function for the cost with the reduced installation fee is g of x is equal to 60x plus 5. Graph both functions. How is the graph of g related to the graph of f? So, solution. The graphs of both functions are shown. Both functions have a slope of 60. So they are parallel. The y-intercept of the graph of G is 35 less than the graph of F. So the graph of G is a vertical translation of the graph of F. Be careful here. It looks like it's saying that the y-intercept is 0, but it's not. The y-intercept is really 5. That concludes today's lesson.